As a process engineer at a pharmaceutical biologics plant, it is my responsibility to ensure the smooth operation and performance of all of our upstream processes. The Pi system provides me not only with a quick, easy way to monitor my systems and investigate any anomalies, but also provides proactive alerts when issues may be occurring, so I do not need to be constantly monitoring my process. In Pi Vision, I can see real-time information from all over the plant in different process areas, but right now I'm going to focus on my bioreactors and where they are in their production. Right now I can see that three of my reactors are currently running, and one of them is almost complete with where it's transferring the material out for further processing. If I want further details on any one of my reactors, I can simply click on it, and actually just received a notification telling me that I have an abnormally high temperature on my reactor 100. I already have PyVision open, so I'll just come in here, click on reactor 100, and drill down to get more details. From this display, I can see information like my batch ID, my current recipe, I have trends of my critical process parameters all along with some control limits, and I can clearly see that my temperature is going up above this upper control limit. And then down at the bottom here, I have a table with my most recently running batches. Now I've clearly violated my temperature limit, but I want to see how this current run compares to previous product runs and what sort of impacts this high temperature may have on other critical process parameters. The easiest way to do this is to overlay my current batch run with previous batch runs, which, which I can do from this batch overlay page. So when I come in here, I can see my currently running batch in orange and my other previous batches, including a golden batch, are on the trends as well. I can clearly see my temperature profile is outside of spec, but I'm not sure at this point if this is something like a bad sensor or something that's actually impacting my process. It looks my, like my volume trend is normal. You can also come in and pull in some other process parameters from my event frames, such as my concentration to check my titer of my product. And here we can see that not only is the temperature high, but my product concentration is low as well, which is a pretty good indicator that this is not just an issue with the sensor, but something is actually wrong with the piece of equipment or the control of that equipment. I need to run and talk to my other engineers and operators about what's going on, but hopefully this gave you an idea of how the Pi system can be used to monitor critical systems in real time so you can identify, investigate, and mitigate issues as they arise.